Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 30th of 2022, well, it is titled Jupiter from the Webb Space Telescope. So what do we see here? This is one of the images of the from the James Webb Space Telescope, a new uh, t- space telescope that was launched l- late last year and is actually in a solar orbit out beyond our moon. And it has been giving us some nice images over the last month or so as the first images have been released or were released back in July. Now here we see Jupiter uh, off to the right hand side and Jupiter is of course the largest planet in the solar system and we see distinct light and dark bands present on it that are very uh, well associated with Jupiter as well as the other giant planets which also have something like that as well. So we see the red spot as well down at to the uh, lower right hand side it will look white in this image and don't forget that the James Webb Space Telescope is sensitive to red light so it is very prominently picking that up but it also picks up a lot of infrared so we're going to see generally in color coded images like this so it will not look distinctly red it's just showing that it's very bright there one of the brighter objects. Now there's a number of other things scattered around Jupiter and looking close in at the north and uh, southern portions we do see the aurora. Now aurora are pleasant on any planet with an atmosphere and a magnetic field. So Jupiter fits that description and does have aurora that are formed there and we see them around the both the north and south regions. And we also see Jupiter's rings and you can see them off to the left and right side where the rings orbit. The rings are very faint and difficult to see and were not in fact detected until the late 1970s when the first early spacecraft flew out past Jupiter giving us a first look at the giant planet. Now we also see a couple of the moons there and those are labeled off to the left hand side Amalthea off to the further off to the left and Adrastia a little bit closer in right by the rings and we can see those two those are two of Jupiter's very small moons so not very large ones and in fact Io is off the image to the left hand side there and you can see its diffraction spike from the optics of the James Webb telescope. Uh, present. We also see the diffraction spike for the aurora as well, especially the southern one. We can see that very easily down there. So James Webb Space Telescope again launched in December of last year and now studying the universe in great detail, including things within our solar system as well as outside as we begin to look at some of these images that have come back from the Webb Space Telescope. So that was our picture of the day for August 30th of 2022. It was titled Jupiter from the Webb Space Telescope. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.